Hello, my name is Daniel Radcliffe's delicious asshole. It's that time of the year. Oh, it's wet. It's that time of year again, um, sort of a Christmas time, I suppose you might call it. Look, I've got this prop that someone left here. And as is tradition here at Novimpia Heights, or we only lived here for a bit, but as is tradition, I make something culinary wise at Christmas time for everyone to enjoy with their family and friends and people that you don't like. You know, way back when I did a, I made a turkey, you know, prepared a beautiful Christmas turkey. I think I used bleach on it, if I can remember correctly, which I wouldn't recommend. I didn't look in its asshole. But last year I made a cocktail. Ah, oh, again, that was shit. Now, I've, I've thought about it this year. I'm gonna try and make something that you can actually consume without dying. So I've got a bunch of shit around me, and this is gonna be Olympia's Christmas Smoothie. Now, I thought that sounded very in tune. Ass is sticking to the leatherette. It's a great start. I will, you know, be explaining what I'm putting into this smoothie. It's gonna be a lot of sweet stuff, some booze, um, fruit. It's, it's nothing gross this year. I'm gonna actually try and make it, you know, something pleasant. So I've got a lot of stuff here, I'll explain what you need. You will need a blender, and um, this is a Morphe Richards, which is, you know, fine. Ah, oh, you use that on it, and then you take it off and it, it goes with you, you know? For like assholes that blend stuff and go to the gym. Is it cracked? Great stuff. I've got a knife. That's a thumbnail right there. Silent night. Where do you even start? Okay, well, I guess I guess maybe the, the, the hard stuff. I've got a pomegranate. Now, if you can remember when we did that video past the pomegranate, you can figure out how old this is. I guess you just cut it in half. So you take your pomegranate and you cut it, you cut it in half. All right. Oh, Jesus, that's hard. All right, that's really, okay. Maybe I should go to the gym. Is that, is that acceptable? For, all right. How do you do? I'm going to get it everywhere. So you want to put some of your pomegranate into, like how much do you put in? I mean, what am I making? I don't know if these will blend. Will it blend? That's the question. Do -do 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 -do. All right, that'll do. Right, bearing in mind, there's a fucking lot of stuff here. So that's, that's the pomegranate. You place the pomegranate to one side. I feel like that looks like something that would be on the front of a cigarette packet with like a warning above it. Like, some, that's not right. Something's wrong with that. Okay, then you're gonna go ahead and add a cheese single. No, I'm just joking. I wouldn't really do that. Something nice and sweet to get things going um, is I've got some carnation caramel. That'll be gorgeous in there because you've got a little fruit which is healthy got a little caramel which is naughty you know it balances out nicely so there goes the caramel is that gonna blend though all right well it looks like baby poo just the squeezing of a lime I might just put like a little bit of lime you can consume Zest, can you? All right, there's the lime in there. I mean, it doesn't squeeze easily. <sighs> okay, leave that there. How about some birthday cake? Why not? This is a chocolate birthday cake. Ooh. I'm inclined to think this has gone off actually, but it, you won't know when it's blended in. There it goes. Okay bit more just for some texture you know Christmas is all about texture okay some chocolate I think this is gonna be delicious you can all agree this is just a chocolate chip from Sainsbury's oh I got pearl on my finger okay so now we're gonna go a little south of the border with some Thai chip. I don't know what these are that oh they're like crisp they fucking stink they're, du they're durian chips, which I think in Thailand is what the locals call the ass fruit. It's an acquired taste, but it's going to be delicious. Okay, so that's in there. What is that? Oh, I've got, I've got some apples. You know what they say, an apple a day. I mean, you're probably quite boring. Why would you eat an apple every day? You want to mix it up. Get some KFC in there. All right, let's just, this is easy to chop, see? 
I feel like Ina Garten. You know, when Jeffrey goes away for the weekend, I always like to prepare him a chicken for Friday night. And I just love the smell of an apple tart, crisp apple tart. And I go to my friend's artisanal apple store in East Hampton to get these apples. And who doesn't want that smell walking through the house when Jeffrey comes home? Just gonna dump it in there. All right, so this is starting to smell like a turd. So I think we're done with the hard stuff. Let's, I've got this Lucas Aid left over from earlier on. Although that is fizzy, is that gonna be an issue? It might be flat now. Uh-huh. Yep. Flat as a witches. Okay, it might be time for some booze. Toffee apple sours, which is so appropriate for this time of year. If you guys want your Christmas shopping, me too. Ooh, okay, in it goes. There's not much of this left. Just a little bit, don't go crazy. You know, a lemon liqueur. Um, this is lemon liqueur. That's nice. We're starting to get a nice... <sighs> some Jeeves, which is a, a rip-off of, what is it called? Pims. But it's Jeeves. I don't have anything like, what can I put? Oh, I know what I can do. Great, okay, so after that, you, you want to be um, very sensible going forward with what alcohol you put in here, nothing stupid. So here's some red wine, and this is Yellowtail Merlot. Oh. Wow, that's so old. Okay, I'm seeing stars. In it goes. Okay, great. I used vodka last year. I don't know if I want to use any this year. I'm going to go with no for the vodka because I think last year I put in too much. So this year I'm not going to put any in at all. Okay, now I, we have this stuff here. No, the sister left this. It's called Bitterol. It's a, it's a reduced, like a cut price version of, I think it's called Aperol which is like an Italian piss, basically. It's disgusting. And this was even worse, but it's going in. What have I got left? Okay. Some stuff over here. Nova's Captain Cook's, um, which I think, if we're all being honest, is just a discount version of, what is it, Captain Morgan's? This is probably very alcoholic at this point, but you can keep powering through. What the fuck is that over there? Can you see the... This is Bailey's. Is this even open? Yes, it is. Now, I personally think Bailey's is disgusting. It's for like middle-aged ladies and like fat people. So that would explain why Nova has it because she has both of those things. Oh, the Bailey's is congealing. All right, okay. And now I'll finish it off with, I'll tell you what. Well, should I put gin in it? Oh, what just happened? I guess the gin would be a nice, a nice finisher just to sort of make it classy. Because I think gin is a classy, you know, thing to do. Okay, so what am I going to call this? Last year I called it the Christmas Cretin. I think this year it's got to be the Christmas Cunt. Oh, hang on a second. How do you blend this? Take this off. Oh, I need to put... I'm going to put some orange juice in. <laughs> it literally looks like vomit. Okay. Right. Who's ready? So make sure that you put your safety feature on for your blend because you'd hate to... Oh, some of the cake just sort of plopped in there at the end. You would hate to, you know, start blending and then end up dead. So there it is. It's ready to go. Oh, I didn't put the cheese single in there. <laughs> but I put the cheese single in. I tell you what, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this, taste it, and then see if the cheese single would you know, in fact, enhance it. That does not look suitable for, for children. Okay, who wants to try this? Because in fairness, there's nothing gross in there. It's all sweet, soft flavors. Okay, well. Cheers! Piss! It's just piss! <laughs> piss! It's just piss! Oh! I don't know why I do this to myself every year. I put myself through it. It's disgusting! The cake clearly comes through though. I get cake and I get red wine from that. And, um, you know, 
The aftertaste is delicious. I don't dare do it again. So that's it for for smoothie making today at Novimpia Heights. Um, I'm not going to be doing anything else to this smoothie. And you know, let me know how you get on at home. Make your own. Make your own um, Christmas cunt. Let me know how it goes. I'm not doing anything else to this. It's it's done. It's absolutely done. You know, Nigella would would drink that. There's no way I'm drinking that. <sighs> All right, every year. You know, oh, what is that behind me? Something's moving. Oh God, I'm not in a good place. I think next year I might just make a bunt cake. Something sensible. I'm, you know, I'm sweating that much. This is so sad. I wish we had like scratch and sniff, like smell a vision. Because, you know, you would just shit. It's a, it's a cup of shit.